Yo, guys, let's learn interval notation. All right, let me just start with an example. All right. Um, okay, oops. <laughs> All right. One comma two in square bracket. Okay, this sort of thing is called an interval notation. What this represent is that uh, if you had a suppose number line, okay, and this is z, this is zero, and this is one, and this is two. All right, zero, one, two, and so on. Okay, what this represent is that you have a set, you have a set of every values every value okay what i mean by every value that it is in the set of real numbers all right every real number every value every real number in the range sorry in the range of one and two of one and two mean that means every every real number between one and two that includes 1 1.0001, 1.1, 1.2, 1.2, and so on. Okay, every real number. That means this set will be infinite, right? This set will be infinite. Okay, let me go deeper into the you know, actual notation, what this square bracket means and what are some other things. All right. This square bracket essentially means that the value preceding it, I mean, if I, if I write one, then this one will be included in the set, okay? This value will be included. But if I had a like normal bracket, which is called parentheses, then it will be excluded, all right? Suppose, let me give you an example, okay? If I had one, not one, let's take it um, three, one comma three, all right? If I had one, two, and three, then every, in the set, every number between one and three will be here, including one, but not exactly three. You will have one, 1.0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, you know, all, everything, including 2.9999999, you know, it's a, it's a very large set, but you will not have three, all right? will not have three. This is the, you know, like roster representation of the set. Okay. All right. You can, you can also convert like uh, some of the sets described in like roster form into set builder notation and some, uh, you know, set builder notation, you know, sets into interval notation. But remember that these represent that every value is included so you may have a set like two four six eight six eight and so on the set of even numbers natural even numbers but this may no you, you can't really represent this in you know like interval notation so you have to keep that in mind what you know like this comes in handy when you're working with uh, you no know, like huge sets or something and Especially if you're lazy, then <laughs> you just have to write square brackets and so on. It's pretty fun, actually. Now, let me give you another, like, let me show you something, okay? What if, what if you had to write one, let's, let's, let's make a number line, okay? Okay, all right. What if, oh, <laughs> minus two, sorry. Not, not minus two, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. What if you needed a set which includes, which includes, right? You can also write this like, if you have to include, you can like shade this. If you want to exclude it, then leave it just like this while, you know, like representing in a uh, number line. But I, I prefer, what I prefer to do is use, you know, like square brackets or parentheses here only but you know like you can do it i guess now, what if you want to include this 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 exclude one and let's say exclude two and then include five okay how will you represent that in interval notation i mean i left a massive 
you know, like massive concept here. But I want you to work work it out. You know, like I want you to try, like you know, like maybe read upon it. You know, read about it or try to find something. But uh, I will give you the answer in like three, two, one. All right. You can write you can write this segment as you know, like two minus two comma one, right? Because it's excluded. This is included, and this as parentheses two comma five, right? And you just put a union here. Okay, what union is? Maybe I'll teach you sometime later. But essentially, you're saying that here is a set, here is another set, and you add them up. Okay, you add every element here and here, you just add them up and make another bigger set. That's what this is. All right, so that's it for interval notations.